five. The stocks discussed on Phil's Gang are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering acting on information presented, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. Get ready for the radio show that tells you what Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Oh, I'm a money magnet. Money, money, money's coming to me. Money sets me free. I'm a money magnet. Money, 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 money's coming to me. It's your daily dose of how to manage your money. And now it's time for Phil's Gang on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. With your host... Bill Brandy. Of course, you can only do so much if corporations end up raising prices on things if they end up having a tax hike as well, right? He also believes that uh, the American people are smart. They're in, they're invested in this. They're going to pay attention and that uh, they know that corporations do not need to raise the cost of goods uh, in order to, to pay more taxes and pay more of their fair share. Who is this Jen Psaki, the household uh, press secretary? What planet has she come from? She is dumber than a bag of rocks. It is unbelievable. I'll circle around, come back to you. This is nuts. Welcome to Phil's Gang, coast to coast, around the country, off the Wall Street Radio Network, where you get the truth. This is where you get the real truth. Can you imagine? She has no clue. She doesn't even know what corporations do. She wouldn't know what a tax hike does to a consumer if she tripped over it. Can you imagine? First of all, when a corporation gets a tax hike, they pass it along. It's the first thing they do. If a corporation makes surfboards, first of all, when the material they get for the surfboard goes up, they price that into the surfboard. When they take the surfboard and they sell it to, as a wholesaler, sell it to a retailer and have to raise the price, the retailer increases the price. If he doesn't increase the price, then his margin gets hurt. And anybody that stays in business keeps their eye on margin. That's the most important thing, margin. Margin in business is like a heart. It's like your heart. It keeps you alive, the margin. These people who go in and cut prices, think they're going to do business on volume, always go out of business, always go out of business. you got to maintain that margin. Here's what I'm selling something for, 10 bucks. It cost me five. It cost me five. My labor, everything, material, my rent, it cost me five bucks to sell something for 10. I better, and at the end of the day, when I take, add all my costs up and take it away, and I, I make a certain amount. Let's say I net 10%, net ten, like a, a supermarket, and that's 1%. But let's say 10%. That margin is what keeps that 10%. When you start cutting that margin, cutting prices, or saying I'll, I'll, my vendor, when he, sold me, when he sold the surfboards to me this month, he increased the price by 5%. I'm not going to increase the price. That means your margin gets hit. She would know a margin. She tripped over it. But let's go to something else. Let's go to something else. It's really bugging me. It's really bugging me, getting me grumpy. Why would Biden lie? Now, remember, this guy has been in Washington almost 50 years as a politician. He's seen every rate hike that there's been. Why would he lie and say higher tax rates would help the economy? It would be positive for the economy. Why would he say that? Especially, he knows that's not the truth. He knows that a 70% tax rate, the rich paid $36 billion to the I. That's what, that's what they had. 30, they paid taxable income on $36 billion at a 70% tax rate, created $36 billion. The IRS grabbed $20 billion of that $36 billion. However, when Reagan cut it to 28%, Reagan, and he was right there, 70% to 28%, the amount of money that was grabbed by the IRS went from $20 billion to $100 billion. In other words, the rich, instead of having just $36 billion 
to be taxed on. They were taxed on $353 billion when they cut up from 70% to 28%. So how can anybody in their right mind say if you raise taxes, it's a good thing you're going to increase revenue when the numbers are right there? 70%, the IRS grabs $20 billion. 28%, the IRS grabs $100 billion. And if you go from uh, in eight years between those two rate cuts, and over the eight years, let's say you, you adjust for uh, inflation, adjust for uh, uh, the, amount of peop- uh, uh, the amount of people that uh, are, are, are growth and our population, even if it wasn't 100, let's say you adjust it out and it came down to 60. Now that's 60 billion is better than 20 billion. Even if it was 50 billion, it's better than 20 billion. If it was 40, 30, it's more than the 20 billion. But no, it was 100 billion against 20 billion. So let's even often say 60 billion when you adjust for uh, population growth and inflation and so forth. Yet he lies. Tax increases will accelerate economic growth? What are you, nuts? <laughs> are you kidding? He thinks he's going to fund all these special proposals, all these things he's going to do. And, and, and you know, this, this is another thing. He also knows, Biden knows, all the years he's been in Washington, Washington each time a new president in their first term okay, gets uh, this idea in their head, well, I'm going to spend this money on this program, that program. I'm going to show them how good I am. I'm going to spend this. And they go, well, how are you going to pay for it? I'll just raise taxes, and I'll, and I'll cover all the new spending. Every president was Democrat, Republican, first quarter. They always want to spend, 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 spend. Spend, spend. The only difference between the Republicans and the Democrats, the Democrats don't give a damn on how it hurts you as an individual. They could care less. They could care less. The Republicans do, because the Republicans are smart enough to know if they hurt us, you, you can't grow the economy. The Democrats could care less. Democrats don't care about the people. They don't care about our businesses. All they care about is one thing, okay, the party, the party, the party. Hey, listen, I'm not saying the Republicans don't do the same thing, and I'm not here to turn this into a political show, but, the, but it is what it is. Both of them suck, okay, but at least the Republicans suck a little bit less, but the bottom line, how could this guy, knowing under the Reagan years, in, in 1980, I mean, how, how, could he, how could he make such a stupid statement? You, you can't make that kind of statement. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous. You can't make that kind of statement. It makes no sense. Yeah, I'll bring home a quart of milk and what? Bread? All right. You have to bring home some milk and bread. As a professional, an interruption like that doesn't even affect me. See how I just go on? Okay. So in 1980, think about this. There was 117,000 rich people. Now, we'll adjust for inflation and say at 400,000 instead of 200,000 back then. So let's just adjust it for inflation and, and the population growth. So in 1980, there was 117,000 people who made $400,000. They got taxed at 70%. And they paid, let's say, $36 billion to IRS. Or $36 billion what they had taxable income. IRS got $20 billion. But think about this. In 1988, what happened? The amount of rich people grew from 117,000 rich who were making $400,000 or more, or back then 200000 to 774,000. So the rich increased from 117,000 to 744,000 because of the cut in the rate to 28%. And think about this. And, and still, the government, they collected much more revenue. But think of, but what's amazing is think, that's mind blowing. If you cut rates from tw- to 28% from 70%, you grew from 117,000 rich people who made 400,000 a year to 744,000. That's amazing. But Biden knows. Biden knows this is all true. So why does he do this? Why does he lie? Why is he going to hurt the country? I'll tell you why when I get back. Join my gang, Phil's gang, free for 10 days, free color-coded chart. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 
Hi, I'm Phil Grady, Phil'sGang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited. You're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. That's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right now are the worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. You got to know when to get out. And that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today free for 10 days. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we're fighting against childhood cancer every day. At the heart of this battle are our donors. Most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay, it's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here, and it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from. All that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding cures, saving children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trade, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264 philsgang.com Remember, when this market crashed in 2009, it should have never crashed because the chairperson of these two committees, their job was to protect consumers, protect our investments, and they're supposed to ensure that our investments are being monitored. Where were they in 2009 and 2008? They weren't anywhere because they don't do that. They take care of themselves. They protect themselves. They become richer. So you can't depend on these crooks in Congress. The stock market is a great place to be, but you just got to know this is a different market than your grandfather's market. So why don't you, for 30 days, join my gang, 877-600-GANG. Try it for 30 days, $39.95. Follow me. I tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. All I ask you start making money. Please remember St. Jude. Don't wait. Join Phil's gang today and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264.
Welcome back. Learn, invest, and make profits with Phil Grandy. Simply go to philsgang.com. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. So, you know, you just have to wonder, is why would he come out and say how terrific these cuts are going to be when he knows damn well those cuts aren't going to be terrific. They're going to hurt the economy. I mean, he knows what happened to Reagan years. I mean, it's not like he wasn't around. And he knows that when you have higher corporate rates, that that's going to really hit these companies hard. I mean, we're just coming out of this COVID-19. So the companies are going to get slammed. So how does he think by raising their taxes at a time they're just coming out of this economy, out of this uh, uh, bad economy? How, how, and doesn't he realize? Or here's the problem. He does realize. There's, there's still people laid off. Not everybody's going back to work. And when they do raise taxes, they're going to lay more people off. When you raise taxes, it's the first thing companies do. They, first of all, cut your pay full to part-time. And then they ship as many people they can, uh, you know, out of the country. I mean, they cut back. It's that simple. So let's think about it. So he knows when the tax rate was dropped to twenty eight percent, that not only the number of rich increased by six hundred and twenty seven thousand people over eight years. Eight years later, when they changed the rate to twenty eight percent, six hundred twenty seven thousand people to 744,000. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, it, just, it worked. And the amount of taxes they collected instead of 36 billion, under 70%, they collected 353 billion. And the IRS grabbed even a net 80 billion to the good. That's what a cut in taxes, not a hike. But he's saying the hike's gonna work out good. No, timing couldn't be worse for this tax hike especially when our debt is reaching or debt is outpacing our economic GDP growth. I mean, our debt is exceeding our productivity, our production. Think about that. Our debt is exceeding our production. That's insane. Now, that, when that happens, when our debt is exceeding our production, what we produce as a nation you don't get investment. Europeans don't come here and put money in our companies, invest in our companies. Why would they? In fact, our companies in the U.S., they don't even put, they don't do business investment in their own companies. They'll do stock buybacks. I mean, there's nothing good about tax increases. Now, if the economy was doing good, that's one thing. But not when it's doing bad. We still haven't had a GDP growth 3% since 2005. Look, after 50 years, if anyone believes the reason to raise the tax rate, after 50 years watching these tax rates, after 50 years, what it does, if anyone believes the reason to raise the tax rate because it regulates inequality and the market economy and constrains the immoderate and unmerited accumulation of riches, they're nuts. That's socialism. That's, 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 anybody says that is a socialist, is a socialist democrat, to be polite, a Marxist. And this is what Biden is saying. And AOC, the rest of them. I mean, and here's history right in front of them. They're right in front of them. There's no good to these tax, these tax increases. And here's the other thing. You know how many companies are going to move to Ireland? That's what they were doing before. When they raised taxes the last time, boom, they all went to Ireland. Why would they stay here? Money is mobile. Let's take Russia. I mean, Ireland. 50% tax rate. When they had a 50% tax rate, they collected tax revenue equal to 1.1% of GDP growth. Well, they learned their lesson. They dropped the tax rate to 12.5%. Now, when they did that, the tax revenue was went to 3.6% of GDP growth. They learned a lesson. Lower taxes, much better. And then we had U.S. companies all moving over to Ireland. Why would they stay here in the United States to pay 70% taxes? Even Russia put a 30% tax rate. 
a flat tax in. When they had a 30% tax rate, they're, 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 taxable, they're, they're, they're collecting like 170 billion rubles. But when they put 13% flat tax, their tax revenue went from 170 billion up to 930 billion. And now their tax rate, since they've gone to 3% flat tax, their tax rate has been growing about 19% a year. There is nowhere you can show anybody that higher taxes are a good thing. Higher taxes destroys your private economy. It destroys your income. You know, you got the Republicans and the Democrats. They're big spenders. Both of them are. The difference between the Democrats and the Republicans the Socialist Democrats are more willing to destroy our economy to get where they want to go. To get where they want to go. They're really, they don't care if they destroy our economy. They don't care if they destroy our private income. They don't care if they destroy our standard of living. Republicans do. Not that they're much better, but at least they're smart enough not to destroy our standard of living. But Biden... He's seen all this. He knows what the consequences are. They're not good. You cause the economy to slow immediately. Boom. You cause inflation to rise. Boom. That means that every dollar in your wallet decelerates, contracts. So that really kills the economy because your wages aren't going up. In fact, your wages are going to get cut and go down. So... Every one of the biggest consequences of tax increases are a slow economy. Just cut your economy. Boom. And of course, every dollar in your wallet is worth less. Lenders, there's a big risk there too. Because our lenders want to know how are you going to pay your debt off? So our lenders then turn around, they want to risk premium. As a matter of fact, that's what happened in 2008, why, why the market started to crash. Because they wanted, China and the Saudis wanted more interest on our national debt. Because our debt was getting so big, they wanted a risk premium. They were worried we couldn't pay our debt. So there is nothing you can look at that tells you that raising taxes, individuals or corporations, are a good thing. And he knows that. He knows that. But he's become a socialist. more we get back, take a look at some great stocks. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. When the markets open, we watch the market all day long. And when we see there's an opportunity for a stock, and it's a stock that we've been following. We, we, there's a lot of stocks we put on our watch list. And it has to hit a certain criteria. Then when it does, we alert you. You immediately get an alert. It says, we bought this stock, X stock, at $30. So you get an alert immediately. What's better than that? I mean, nobody does that for you. But the most important thing, they'll say, okay, here's why we're getting out now. Or here's why we're taking profits. I think it's going to go down. Look, the most important thing is this. I want you to be prepared for when the market does tank or rally that you're with us. Phil's gang. 877-600-GANG. Join my gang right now. Phil's gang. 877-600-GANG. And you'll be in position and you'll sleep at night and you don't have to worry. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. When the markets open, we watch the market all day long. And when we see there's an opportunity for a stock, and it's a stock that we've been following. We, we, there's a lot of stocks we put on our watch list. And it has to hit a certain criteria. Then when it does, we alert you. You immediately get an alert. It says, we bought this stock, X stock, at $30. So you get an alert immediately. What's better than that? I mean, nobody does that for you. But the most important thing, they'll say, okay, here's why we're getting out now. Or here's why we're taking profits. I think it's going to go down. Look, the most important thing is this. I want you to be prepared for when the market does tank or rally that you're with us. Phil's gang. 877-600-GANG. Join my gang right now. Phil's gang. 877-600-GANG. And you'll be in position and you'll sleep at night and you don't have to worry. Find out more at phyllisgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 
That's 877-600-4264. I've been a Phil's Gang member since 2014. Over that time, I've generated over six-figure profits. Following Phil, his charting system has really been a huge impact on my career and my life. I would recommend Phil's Gang to the mom and pop out there. I would recommend it to parents teaching their children. I would recommend it to grandparents. If you really trust in their system, you will do well. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Hi, I'm Phil Grain at philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited. You're seeing every day the stock market going up. never comes down. It keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. That's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right now are the worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you've got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. You've got to know when to get out, and that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free, for 10 days. I pay thousands of dollars for a weekend seminar when for only $39.95 a month, philsgang.com provides all the daily market investing information you need to make profits in the stock market. With over 40 years of investing experience, only Phil Grandy and the philsgang.com team provide daily live investing webinars, up-to-the-minute market updates, all the investing educational videos you can imagine. Don't hesitate to learn, invest, and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG, 877-600-4264. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy. At philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited. You're seeing every day the stock market going up. It never comes down. It keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. And that's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right now, worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you've got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. You've got to know when to get out, and that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free, for 10 days. Welcome back. Learn, invest, and make profits with Phil Grandy. Simply go to philsgang.com. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. So, you know, Ross, what people don't understand, too, talked a little bit about this yesterday, debt. Debt is the killer. As I said, it wasn't debt that took down the, 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 the I'm sorry, it wasn't homes that took down the housing market. It's not going to be, it wasn't COVID that took us down in February 2020, the crash. It was the debt. Debt is a horrible thing. Deficits are horrible. You got to pay for those deficits. Every time you spend more than you're taking, you got to pay for those deficits. And if you think you're going to go and raise taxes to pay for your debt or to pay for your spending, rather, it never happens. It never happens. Matter of fact, Bill Clinton figured that out in the capital gains tax. He first raised the capital gains tax and his income dropped big time. So then he cut the capital gains tax, his income increased. He was, I mean, he, he figured that out really quick. So Biden's doing this because he's, again, he, he just, I don't know why. Maybe it's just that he, he's grumpy that he's upset that anything that Trump does, he just wants to change. Look what he did with the border. He changed the, you know, catch and release. And look at the mess they got down there. So look at the mess we're going to have with corporate tax increases. It's not going to be just corporations. Look at your gas taxes. Taxes are going to go up. When a corporation gets taxed, it goes through everybody. We feel it. Every individual is going to feel it. You're going to feel your job is going to get cut. Your hours are going to get cut. It's a tax when they cut your hours. 
It's a tax when they cut you from full-time to part-time. So what about the stock market? Well, the stock market, you've got to be ready. You've got to be ready, and you've got to follow those stocks. They're going to make you the most money on the way down. Stop thinking that there is protection in buying these stocks. that are called defensive stocks, like Pepsi and Coke. That's a bunch of baloney. That's the way for the, for the brokerage houses to make money. They sell you that nonsense. Hey, get into the defensive stocks. I'm sorry, there's no place to hide. And like now, the banks, the, the, take the market right now. The market, the stock market right now, they're struggling to get a leadership. Struggling. They're doing everything they can to break this market out, to get it, to, to get it up to around, uh, uh, you know, just, just to get the, and the S&P, and if you look at your SPY chart, they'll do anything to break out above 400. Above 400. That's what they want. They want to get above 400 in the SPY. And, they're, and they know they can't. Have, I mean, they, they know they can, but it's not sustainable if they do because, again, they got to have the banks. Remember, the banks push up the S&P. The S&P pushes up your individual stock. Unless the banks are super strong, it doesn't push the S&P up. And if the S&P goes up on its own by rigging the market, which they can do any time, and then you buy a stock, it's not sustainable. I don't care what stock you buy because you lose your foundation. It's always been the banks lead. The banks are everything. And the banks are having big trouble. And listen to this, what he says about the banks. Cudlow, just the same kind of lie he said about when, when housing started to break. So what's going to stop the market, uh, if anything? I still think banks are in very good shape. He said the same thing about housing. I don't see any place, he says, in housing where housing's in trouble. I, yeah, there may be a few houses here and there, he says, that, that they're having problems. But he said, overall, there's no housing crash. There, there, there's no problem. Look what happened. But why? Debt. See, the banks are being propped up. Because remember what the banks are holding. The banks are holding on to corporate debt. Remember, the Federal Reserve controls the banks. The Federal Reserve prints all this money and says to the banks, especially the big uh, investment banks, here, take this money and give it to the big corporations and give it the money free and, and make sure they buy their own stock to push the stock market up. By reducing the amount of shares they have, make sure they reduce the amount of outstanding shares they have. So when their earnings come in real crappy, if they have less shares and their crappy earnings can cover less shares, which they make sure they do, then the earnings go up, it's fake, and then the price of the stock goes up, it's all fake. That's what covers, causes the huge bubble. So right now, the banks are in huge trouble. Why do you think they're pumping in a trillion dollars a day? And then he says, and then he says this. I mean, if things are so bad, why is the stock market so good? Oh, I thank mean, you for opening that up. The reason the stock market's been going so good for the last 13 years is because of QE, because of stock buybacks, because of propping up. The stock market has never, ever, ever had a recovery. The economy's never had a recovery, rather. The stock market's been propped up through printing money called quantitative easing, where they print the money and they go, and the Federal Reserve buys it, gives all this money to the big banks, the five biggest banks, to go buy treasuries. And every time they buy a treasury, it drops rent interest rates down to near zero. Then they pile more money into the big corporations. So now you loan it to the corporations at zero. And what do they do with that money? They don't put it into buying new machinery or new equipment, no business investment. They buy their own stock. So from 2008 to 2013, they were doing a tremendous amount of QE, both buying share treasuries to drop interest rates down to zero. And then they were also, at the same time when they're trying to get the interest rate down to zero, they're providing tons of money to corporations to keep buying their own shares. That's how the market moved up. Then when 2013 hit, the FANG stocks took off. The FANG stocks, the big tech stocks. About a third of the S&P 500, remember the whole S&P 500 was being driven by a handful of stocks. About a third of the stocks is what gave the S&P its value. Now they're, now they're in trouble. There's a rotation on those. Those are starting to get hit. I told you that going back, if you go all the way back to January 16th in 2018. I want everybody to mark down this date, January 16th, today. 
that Phil Grandy said on this date, January 16th, this is the beginning of the stock market crash. The crash will be caused by China, the FANG stocks. There you go. And that's what we got going on right now. We got the FANG stocks. The FANG stocks are starting to break down. So who's coming in now? You got all the, you got Coca-Cola and Pepsi, all defensive stocks, and Colgate and Kellogg. So you got people buying cereal instead of buying, uh, instead of buying uh, Netflix. You got people buying Coca-Cola instead of buying Tesla. So we got a rotation. Now they're in trouble because they got two things. They can't get the banks to lead. They can't get the banks to lead. And the big techs aren't leading. So now what they're doing is they're trying to force the S&P up on its own. And when you force the S&P up on its own without the banks pushing the S&P up and the S&P pushing up your individual stock, if you don't have the banks and the s and is going on its own, it's not sustainable, and that's when the bubble breaks. So you got to just be in the right stocks. you got to know when to get out. That's simple. 85% of you're going to lose money again like you did with all the other crashes because you don't know when to get out. And with today's technology, the technology that we created, that won't happen to you. And for 10 days, try it. You'll find it works. It works. It tells you when to get in, tells you when to get out. And we give you free for 10 days. You sell yourself. We don't sell it to you. You sell yourself. But it works. So we had some beautiful stocks we're making money on right now. And we bought some steel stocks. Remember I told you a few weeks ago, I said, why don't you join my gang? And why don't you just follow me in steel stocks? We bought a couple steel stocks, and they're doing terrific. They're doing terrific. So, but, but again, people are all jumping back, trying to jump back into the, into the big tech stocks. That's crazy. That's crazy. So and if you're going to find any, good, any stocks, okay, right now, you want to be buying the steel stocks. You want to be buying, they're, they're, I tell you what else they're going to jump back into. Everybody's going to jump back into Costco. We bought some Costco. They're all going to jump back into Walmart. See, they're going to go back to, they're, going, they're not going to go for these big, these big uh, uh, growth stocks. They're just going to go for the, you know, typical, you know, old, old stagio slow stock, okay, that keeps moving up. So Costco, we're in Costco. We're in the steel stocks. But here's the thing. The important thing, when are you going to get out of these? That's, that's what counts, and we'll help you with that. It tells you when to get in, when to get out. Try it free for 10 days. More when I get back. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy. Is your business prepared to respond to any emergency in the workplace? Well, you better be. Let over 30 years of law enforcement experience go to work for you. Boyd Investigative Group is here for all your business security needs. I know. I use them. They're terrific. Call today for your free confidential consultation. 941-724-4535. That's 941-724-4535. Or visit them on the website, boydinvestigativegroup.com. License number A1-900-020. Thinking about investing in the stock market, go to philsgang.com where we have over 50 years experience in trading and investing in the stock market. Phil's Gang teaches you how to make profits in the market with stock chart analysis, up to the minute alerts, and always keeping you informed with professional guidance and long and short term positions. Go to philsgang.com or call one of our professional staff to answer your questions. 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Stop wondering about your financial future and start doing something about it. Remember, when this market crashed in 2009, it should have never crashed because the chairperson of these two committees, their job was to protect consumers, protect our investments, and they're supposed to ensure that our investments are being monitored. Where were they in 2009 and 2008? They weren't anywhere because they don't do that. They take care of themselves. They protect themselves. They become richer. So you can't depend on these crooks in Congress. The stock market is a great place to be, but you just got to know this is a different market than your grandfather's market. So why don't you for 30 days, join my gang, 877-600-GANG, try it for 30 days, thirty nine ninety five. follow me, I tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. All I ask you start making money, please remember St. Jude. Don't wait. Join Phil's gang today and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. 
That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Thinking about investing in the stock market? Go to philsgang.com where we have over 50 years experience in trading and investing in the stock market. Phil's Gang teaches you how to make profits in the market with stock chart analysis, up-to-the-minute alerts, and always keeping you informed with professional guidance and long and short-term positions. Go to philsgang.com or call one of our professional staff to answer your questions. 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Stop wondering about your financial future and start doing something about it. With the philsgang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trades, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call. 877 gang What if you could have an in-depth understanding of the stock market just like the pros? Well, thanks to Phil Grandy and philsgang.com, you can. philsgang.com offers comprehensive, up-to-date market information designed to help you understand and anticipate market behavior. With philsgang.com, you'll build your investing confidence even through down cycles and periods of uncertainty. Go to philsgang.com, philsgang.com today. 877 gang 877 800 Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. We're on the verge of a gigantic boom. We may be in a gigantic boom. Uh, just unbelievable, isn't it? Welcome back to Phil's gang. Look, there's no question that when they open up the economy, all of a sudden you're going to get a surge. There's no question. As I said to you before, if you take a basketball and you climb a ladder 10 feet high, you drop the basketball, you get a big bounce back up after it goes down, right? And then the next bounce is a little less, and the next bounce a little less, and a little less, until it gets down to the bottom of the floor where it almost dribbles down to where it's flat. It's the same thing with this. Look, they told us we had the best economy when Trump had an economic growth of 2.8%. 2.8%. Now, if we go all the way back and you start averaging in the, 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 the catastrophe we had in 2020, the, the crash... If you go all the way back for 13 years, now go back to 2008, our economic growth is 1.6%. Now, this quarter, if you go and take a look at the quarter, look, look, look at the NASDAQ, what happened to the NASDAQ. Okay, the quarter came in, I think it was for the NASDAQ. They, they are last year 22% for the year. The first quarter, 1.2% compared to the S&P 5%. I mean, believe that, and in, in the Dow, I think 8%. So the big tech stocks, everybody's still jumping in the big tech stocks. You get all these people that jump into tech stocks do not know what the hell they're doing. They don't know. They think, oh, these are the tech. I gotta get, I'm going to get rich. But they've been listening to these tech stocks for 13 years, and they haven't been in them. This happens before every crash. Before every crash, you always have that first collapse, and then you get that second rally. To get the confidence, to build the confidence. Then once you get that second round, everybody's so confident that the market's not going to go. They think, oh, we had the crash. We had the crash in February. That's it. And then everybody starts piling in like they did and buy the same old names. And that's why they always lose money. Every time we give our members the stocks that they need to be in, 
And no more is it, well, you should be in defensive, you should be in non-cyclical, cyclical, you should be in this, you should be. It just matters where the money is going. That's what stocks you got to be in. And unless you do this every day like we do, you're not going to know. And do you think these people on CNBC or Fox, they know or they care? Of course not. Everything to them is great. Everything's terrific. You've heard their attitude on everything is fantastic. You're fine. You don't pay attention to the value of your house every day. Don't pay attention to your portfolio every day. Have a good, sound plan so you can go on and enjoy life. Have You're you heard fine. Anything so stupid as that? And then you hear laugher. Uh, it's just a wonderful world. Wonderful world. Yeah, for him. But what about the family that makes sixty-five thousand dollars a year, even eighty-five thousand dollars a year? Three kids, send them to school, expenses. And this, this idiot that's running our country wants to raise his taxes. He said, oh, no, no, Phil, you're wrong. He doesn't make 400000 Sorry, your taxes are going to go up. There's all kinds of hidden taxes. Check and see how much gasoline has gone up in the last year. Yeah, that's really a tax. Go look at your prescriptions when you go to the drugstore. See how much they've gone up. Yeah, that's a tax. Everything's going to go up. You just don't take... A corporation, we're coming after you, you're rich, so we're going to just tax you. That's the end of it? And, they, and a corporation sits there and says, oh, that's okay, thank you. We'll, we'll take the hit on our own. Nobody else is going to take a hit. Are you kidding? The first thing, they're going to move to Ireland. Or they'll move to Germany, or they'll move somewhere. That's the first thing. They did that before. Then you lose all kinds of jobs. And every time you lose one job, it, it has an effect of five jobs. For every one job that's lost, you lose five. If a contractor gets fired... Then the guy at the cleaners gets fired. The guy at the bakery gets fired. The guy at Starbucks gets fired. It's a, it's, 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 that's how it works. One person gets fired. You, you have this effect of five people getting fired. So all you want to know is, and my members say, Phil, all I want to know is what stock do I get in? So we caught, remember, all the stocks, we caught the airline stocks. We call them our COVID stocks. We caught those in, after the market, when the market dropped in February 2020, starting in March. Nobody wanted any of the airlines. Nobody wanted any of them. You, you couldn't give an airline stock away. You just couldn't give it away. Nobody wanted the airlines. Who's going to go on the airline with COVID? That's the stock I want. And we bought, the, we bought that. But even before we bought the airlines, we bought oil. We bought oil. This is what we do for our gang every day. We search for the best opportunities for them. So oil, nobody wanted oil. Remember how oil, no, who, who's going to buy, the economy was on the ground. Nobody was going to need oil. So we bought oil. And we bought all the refiners. Then we bought the airlines. We bought the cruise lines. We bought everything that nobody wanted. Everything that nobody wanted. And guess what? Those were the best stocks. They went up big. Because then finally, when they started to talk about them, they were already up. They are already up. That's what happens. When you start hearing CNBC or Fox or Bloomberg or reading a newspaper, any stock, it's too late. It's too late. It's up there because the, the big guys get in first. When you hear about a stock on CNBC or Fox or Bloomberg reading a paper or Wall Street Journal, I'm sorry, it's already run. You don't get a deal. You don't get anything wholesale. No, you don't. Because the boys on Wall Street, the guys on CNBC, they're all inside. They get the stock. They, get, they, they're, they are told where the money is going before you are. You get it at the end after it's gone up. It's like you going to uh, uh, Macy's and buying a suit for $300 thinking you go out in front of the store and sell it for 500 or 400 That's called speculation. That's exactly what the stock market is. You ever hear speculation? They say, oh, the market's speculation. Oh, the market's speculation. Well, of course it's speculation because you're buying stocks at wholesale, I mean retail, and you're trying to sell it retail. When we bought, when we bought the, uh, we call our COVID stocks, okay, we, we made sure. I mean, when we bought, let's, let's remember when we bought uh, uh, NCLH, just think about that, NCLH, one of the, and then we bought LVS, a casino stock, Las Vegas Sands. We bought those when nobody wanted them. Yeah, I'll tell you exactly where we bought We bought them in February. We bought them in February. I mean, nobody wanted those stocks in February, not after, not after, the, after the market collapsed. So Las Vegas, we bought it when it was around 4750 
then it ran up to $65. Then, it, then money started to really come into those stocks. At Las, Las Vegas stand started to come in right, right around February 10th. That's when it green, it turned green. And that's what I told you. Most of the money was now coming in. And so most of my members are getting in those stocks right around uh, 58 bucks, $56, $58. They did the same thing with the airlines, like uh, 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 DAL, Delta, same thing. Banks, same thing. And as I said, marathon, oil, oil has really took off. But see, that's what we do. We try to find the stocks that got hit the worst, that are brand names, and then you gotta get in them and you gotta be patient, you gotta be patient. Then all of a sudden the money will start coming into those stocks. They always come into the name stocks. Now what's happening, you got money coming out of Apple. And people are buying Apple because of the name Apple. You got people coming to Netflix. Money's coming out, look at Netflix was at 600 bucks. Now if you go back, if you go back and take a look at uh, Netflix, if you go back all the way back to February, if you bought Netflix at, let's say, when it was around 300 in, uh, when we did, it was around uh, April 2nd, 3rd, it was around 364 $65. It turned green. And then we got out of it when it was around 575 Now, that's a 57% gain. Now, I'm not saying every gain member of mine made 57%. I'm not saying that. Some made 10%, some made 20, maybe somebody made 50, who knows? It's just they knew where the opportunity was. It turned green, it identified for them. Okay, now's the time to get in. If they got in later, that's up to them. But at least we identify when they're supposed to get in. But more important than that, when they get in. Anybody knows when to get in. Anybody can buy a stock. It's when to get out. And the other thing that we talk about, 401ks and mutual funds, they're the worst. And right now with mutual funds, we finally have the same kind of a chart that we have with, with, our, with our stocks. And it tells you with a mutual fund when to get in the mutual fund, when to get out of the mutual fund. It's called the Mutual Fund Trader. We have a video on it. Check it out. Go to my site. It's called video track, I mean, Mutual Fund Tracker. Go to philsgang.com. You can check any of our products, even the new mutual fund product. They'll tell you when to get out of your mutual fund, when to get out of it. Nobody else does that. Check it out, all our products, philsgang.com. Join the gang, but remember, it's free for 10 days. And the mutual fund tractor, free for 30 days. See you on the charts. You have been listening to Phil's Gang with your host, Phil Grandy, on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Remember to visit Phil's website at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or call the office, 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. It's the-